invite you all today to public defense and viva of uh, my colleague Mrs. Vanita who has done a wonderful work in the area of uh, human resource uh, management and uh, this is the final session of her uh, journey in order to get her uh, PhD. On this occasion, it's my pleasure in inviting controller of examinations of this university, Professor Dr. G. P. Raman, guide and our own faculty at some point of time, who served this department for five years and a lovable teacher to her students, Dr. Meena from Ishwari Engineering College, and external expert, Dr. Kanagi Prashant, Kaniga Prashant, Kaniga Prashant from RNK Engineering College. She is here. I welcome all three of you as board of examiners apart from that my own colleagues head of the department dr ramnathan dr balaji ramrathan sir jayaraman tirumaleshwari dr lata and uh, dr ramudan plus energetic finance officer of the university and uh, my own dear students welcome to this session the session will be as follows first introduction of external expert will be given by the guide of the candidate dr Meena. After the introduction, external expert will take over the session. The candidate will okay, give our presentation. And after presentation is completed, external expert will pose questions to the candidate and candidate has to defend her thesis. After which, it will be open to the house. Any person who is sitting in the house can ask the questions based on whatever she presents. And if the board of examiners are satisfied after successful defense of the candidate, they will declare the result. This is the procedure. Now I request Professor Dr. Meena to introduce external expert. Good morning, everyone. I'm very happy to introduce you to Dr. Kanika Prashant. She is professor and head of the department at RK Engineering College. Uh, she has did her BCom in Pache Pass from Kanchipuram and then her MCom in Bahis College, Peru. Uh, she started her career in 1998. Simultaneously, she did her PhD in University of Madras under the guidance of Dr. Ravi Chandran. She has got a rich experience in teaching as well as research in various colleges for about 16 years. She has published 50 papers. Among it, 12 in international and 29 in national level. She has hold various positions uh, in various areas. She was at various times she held the post of chairman in, under Rana University Central Valuation. 
she is very much interested in marketing and financial aspects. I am very happy to welcome her. Please give hands and welcome her. Good morning to one and all present here. The already candidate is very taste, so I don't want to take much of the time. So let me invite, on behalf of you, let me invite Mrs. Vanita to present the PhD topic on a study on women employees' attitude about work-life balance with special reference to banking, healthcare, and IT, ITS sector in Kanchipuram district. So now we can start. Thanks to our management authorities for making me here today. Career and my doctoral program in this university. I am grateful to our beloved team, Professor Dr. KP Viramun Master, my respectful guide, Dr. S. Meena Kumarima, uh, external expert, Dr. R. Tanina Prashan, faculty colleagues, uh, Sivoi, uh, controller of examinations, D.P. Raman sir, my faculty colleagues, finance officer, my spouse, my dear daughter my family members and friends for their heartfelt support to complete my thesis successfully. Their support and guidance made me to stand in this platform to share my research experience in the area of uh, women employees' attitude about work-life balance with selected sectors of banking, healthcare and IT ideas in Kanchipuram district. Women in modern day life share the responsibilities of male counterpart in terms of family, personal, social and economic trend. Among these, economic contribution of women is uh, economic contribution in present day is indispensable. But at the same time, women as workforce undergo various issues. Among the various issues, occupational issues faced by women as an employee not only affect them but also affect their family in a greater significance. So, work life balance has become a leading agenda in the present day era. In this aspect, the present research contribution made by these to study the women employees' attitude about work life balance on selected sectors. It is an unlimited agenda for testing the work-life balance of women employees with respect to various fields on different dimensions. Uh, service is a prominent one where the preference and actual employment of women is higher in recent decades. Uh, this made me to uh, go with the category of banking, healthcare and IT sectors in Kanchipuram district. My presentation will be like this. Introduction of the study, overview of uh, review related to the study, profile of banking, healthcare, and IT sector. Just a glance about that. Typical framework of work life balance, data analysis and interpretation, findings, suggestions, and conclusion, scope for further research, and uh, finally, details of publications regarding the research work. Found it. First, introduction to research, I covered uh, introduction, problem, need, objectives, hypothesis, scope, research methodology, limitations, chapter plan. My introduction starts like this. The financial demands of financial demands on Indian families per us day by day. The increasing cost of living, expenses on cost expenses on education of children, cost of housing properties, uh, forces every family to uh, look for ways and means of uh, extra income in their family. This, uh, this makes every family to demand women employment. Today, women have become a prominent earning sources in families and they have become more centric in families by the way of covering and undertaking the responsibilities of families, family management and, and becoming a contributor of economic sources. But the society still demands the women to take care of their family by labeling them it is their moral responsibilities to take care of their family. In these circumstances, 
women are forced to focus on both family and workplace environment. But the system and structure of both family and workplace is not as easy as always. Uh, it it uh, contains uh, different types of issues at various situations in the level of personal, uh, family, work, social, psychological and so on. Due to, the women, due to this, women employees undergo pressure and are also unable to manage all these aspects and unable to deliver the required efficiency both in family and workplace. Hence, the working women, irrespective of their uh, backgrounds, encounter the situation of work-life balance. This is my problem. Statement of the problem deals with work-life balance is common for uh, any status of employee, but the major participation of women in employment, especially in service sector, is very high in recent decades. In addition to that, nature of work <coughs> assumed by women is on par with male employees. In these circumstances, there is a need for understanding the attitude of women employees of about work-life balance in, and its related issues in, in my problem area. Research gap, what I found regarding my study is, banking, healthcare and IT sectors offer more employment to women in various working avenues because service-oriented jobs should be done on empathy, humility, smiling, honesty, patience and knowledge, where Women are clearly more efficient economic actors with greater managerial skills, but the working system, the prevailing work culture, the impetus of needy economic sources cause work life balance, imbalances among working women in these sectors. This is my research gap, what I found in this uh, study. Uh, why this particular study I have done is because lack of lack of reasonable research about the study of uh, attitude about women employees about work-life balance in banking, healthcare and IT sectors. My objective is frame that is to study the socio-economic profile of the women employees with reference to banking, healthcare and IT sectors in Kanchipuram district to brief the daily profile of the working women in banking, healthcare and IT sectors in selected study areas uh, to understand the women employees' attitude about their work-life balance in these particular sectors, to describe the women employees' attitude towards the impact of work on family and family on work in banking, healthcare, and IT sectors, to evaluate the factors influencing work-life balance, imbalance, work balance, and imbalances of working women, to know the individual and organizational benefits of work-life balance. To understand the strategies employed towards work life balance and work and family. My hope, uh, these are all the hypotheses framed in my study. Job satisfaction towards work life balance based on their marital status, and then the influence of family role on work life balance based on their uh, nature of family. Life satisfaction towards work life balance based on their education qualification. Attributes impact of work on family based on their designation. Attributes impact of family on work based on their nature of family. This is the scope of the study uh, in, during my research. Personal profile of women employees in banking, healthcare and IT sectors in Kanchipuram district. Uh, Aerial profile of women employees have been covered. Uh, which uh, reference to banking, healthcare, and IT sector. Uh, it covers the reason to choose the concerned sectors by women employees, and also the uh, present job and organization chosen by the women employees with respect to banking, healthcare, and IT areas. And also opinion about work-life balance factors influencing work-life balance, impact of uh, work-life balance with reference to work and family. Uh, benefits attained regarding individual and organizational and strategies to manage work-life balance have been covered in my study. Coming to the research methodology, uh, research design has been 
in uh, descriptive right study population covers with uh, working women in banking healthcare and it sectors sector in kanchipuram district population frame the latest district census of uh, official payroll obtained from respective sectors and departments sampling unit is women employees working in their particular uh, uh, cadres of uh, banking healthcare and it sectors sampling method stratified disproportionate random sampling uh, the women employees working in banking healthcare and it sectors have been divided based on their cadre of top middle and lower level by using strata from each strata the respondents have been covered by applying random method sample size uh, regarding banking sector i have uh, taken 198 sample regarding healthcare sector i covered 318 regarding it and it sectors i covered 182 women employees with respect to these sectors uh, sources of data both primary and secondary data have been used primary data collection from the respondents belonging to uh, banking healthcare company by means of personal interview and interview schedule uh, then regarding sources of uh, secondary data gathered from the previous studies government related deserts are the bulletin periodicals journals previous research reports and uh, web sources my nature of questionnaire is structured one with pre testing scaling have been used type of questions is closed ended multiple choice questions with graphic rating scale itemized and likert scale have been used in my questionnaire pre testing uh, the structured questionnaire for the study has been applied and its validity and reliability also be tested uh, testing of validity validity of the questionnaire has been tested in terms of content criteria and consistency the cron one alpha values obtained as uh, 73% since the 